So a lot of people that think they understand basic math are actually going to do this simple math problem wrong. The only rule here is no calculators. Matter of fact, let's go to take a look at the question. We have 12 divided by 2 times 6. What is the answer? Well, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then, of course, I'm going to show you how to do this problem correctly. Now, I'm also going to be highlighting a very common source of confusion when it comes to mathematics. So uh, for those of you that are going to get this wrong, you're going to make this error. But don't feel bad. Many people are going to get this wrong as well. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now, there's not too many options here in terms of what to do. We can either, uh, we can either have done division first, or we could have done the multiplication first. You need to, uh, hopefully you didn't guess, but we need to start the problem right here. We have to do the division first. Now, if you started with the multiplication, you got the problem wrong, and your answer would have been 1. And probably, well, I don't know if it's maybe 50% of the people watching this video uh, answered with 1. But if you answered with 1, well, I'm glad that you did because uh, this video is going to clear up some basic confusion when it comes to this thing called the order of operations. If you don't know this, you will not be able to do uh, pretty much any math. And it's not that difficult, so let's go to get into it right now. Okay, so as I indicated, the correct uh, way to do this problem was to start with uh, the division. But why? Why not the multiplication? I mean, this seems like it's a pretty good option as well. Well, there is a specific reason why we have to start with division, and I'm going to explain that right now. So in mathematics, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even powers, these are called mathematical operations. And when you have a problem with different mathematical operations like division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, we have to do the problem in the right order or we will get uh, different results. Of course, only uh, there's only one correct order and that order is described to us by this checklist right here and this is called PEMDAS, right? So this is effectively our checklist to take the correct order when we have um, a math problem with multiple mathematical operations, okay? So this is again called PEMDAS. It is a phrase, this thing's been around forever. Matter of fact, let me give you a little memory aid here. It is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Once again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And this is the secret to understanding the order of operations. In other words, what is the correct order? Now these letters obviously stand for something and this is a checklist that goes from left to right. Okay, so let me go and explain this now. So P stands for parentheses. So if we have parentheses in a math problem, let's suppose I have parentheses right here, you would start uh, by doing all the math inside of those parentheses. Now, of course, this problem does not have parentheses, so you know this step, you know, we pretty much kind of skip. But this is what this P stands for, it's parentheses. Really, technically, it's grouping symbols, so brackets like this and these type of brackets as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. E is powers. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, why are you saying it's power? This starts with the E. Why don't you put an AP there? Because if that's powers, well, really, if we have like two to the third power, this three up here is what we call the exponent, and this two down here is called the base. The entire thing is called a power, so E really stands for exponents, but uh, you can get to kind of think of that step as powers. Now, of course, our problem, we don't have any power, so we, you know, these two steps right here don't apply. Okay, so let's talk about these last steps, and this is where uh, most of the confusion comes in, in terms of the order of operations. So M, D, A, and S. M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, most of you might be saying, well, it seems to me if this is a checklist and it's going from left to right, we're just kind of going through this checklist, uh, the next thing on our checklist would be multiplication. So a lot of you are probably screaming at the video right now, hey, Mr. UT Math Man, look, even your own checklist says do multiplication first, so why did you do a division? Well, I'm going to explain this right now because, again, 
this is probably what I'm showing you right here is probably the number one common error when it comes to the order of operations because this M and D is not strictly always, always multiplication, then division. It's multiplication or division. Okay, this is the way this works. I know it's a little bit confusing. That's why I'm making this video to explain this. So it's multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. So in other words, if I have multiplication, then division, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, because I see multiplication first from left to right. But if I have division, then multiplication, I'm going to do it this way because I see division first from left to right. And of course, this is our situation. I see division first from left to right. So this is why we're going to take this step first. Okay, so 12 uh, divided by two, of course, will be what? Well, the answer is going to be six. All right, so 12 divided by two is going to be six. And then of course, we'll walk through the rest of the steps. And uh, let's go ahead and take this step, which is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, what stopped this lovely math video if it wasn't that important? I mean, this is a great way to show support for what I do, but really my whole mission with this channel, and I've been making uh, math videos on YouTube well over 10 years. I have uh, over 2,000 plus math videos from basic math to advanced math. My objective is to help those that need assistance in math. Okay, I'm really trying to stop people from ever giving up on mathematics. This is a big, big crisis. And, you know, I've been teaching math again for decades, and I want to share all my knowledge and experience with those people that can benefit from it. So by you subscribing, it does help that YouTube algorithm push out that content to as many people that need assistance. And also, too, when you subscribe, I kind of look at you as a new math student in my virtual classroom. And if you are going to subscribe, might as well hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this up because this is now pretty easy. So now that we know uh, that we have to do division first and not multiplication, this is just 12 divided by 2, which of course is 6. And then we're going to finish up with uh, multiplication because that's the only thing we have left to do. So 6 times 6, of course, is 36. Okay, so don't feel bad if you uh, took this step right here. And a lot of you probably were thinking about PEMDAS. Oh, God, I need to use PEMDAS, and I'm going to be, um, you know, this, again, is a super common mistake. You're like, all right, I don't have any parentheses. I don't have any powers. I got to do multiplication, so I'm going to do this right here. That's going to be 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. I am super confident in my answer. And then, you know, to your, you know, uh, chagrin, you're like, what are you talking about? I did it wrong. I didn't do it wrong. Uh, I followed PEMDAS. No, again, uh, this is a super common confused area of mathematics but listen now you know and you know when you're faced with an order of operation problem you'll be able to do all these problems correctly if you need additional help in basic math check out these two courses right here so the first is my math foundations course this is a, a quick review of basic math now if you want to review uh, basic math algebra and geometry then check out my math skills rebuilder course I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.